Hey, so I'm really excited about the books that I have to show you today. I have some books in front of me that I already opened and that I got from bookstores. And then I also have these lovely books and their packages that I'm going to open for you. Well, mostly for me, because they're my books. But you'll get to see me open them. Um, yeah, let's get started with the book haul. The first books I have to show you are these. This is Death Note Volume 3 and Volume 4. The story is by Sugumi Oba and the art is by Takashi Obata. And I've obviously read the first and second volumes and I love them. And I'm so excited for these. These are manga books. And every single time I mention these or show these anywhere, someone always asks me if I've watched or I'm going to watch the anime. Yes. As soon as I finish the series, as soon as I finish the 12 books or 10 books, I'm not sure, I will be watching the anime. Promise. I'm looking forward to it. I just need to finish these and for some reason it's taking me like a little while to get into them because I haven't been reading during the daytime and that's the only time that I read manga or graphic novels because I don't know for some reason I feel like I can see it better and that's better and I shouldn't read it at night because artificial light and I don't know I don't know but yeah I feel like I'm definitely gonna read these really soon and hopefully I'll get the rest of the series and then I'll watch the anime, I promise. I promise you. The next books I have to show you are also all from the same edition. They're all Penguin English Library Classics. And they're all by Jane Austen. This is what the spines look like. And yeah, I bought these four books because I thought I was taking a course at university on Jane Austen and these are the four books that I need to read. Um, but then I changed the course, so ended up with books that I didn't actually need to read. I haven't read any Jane Austen books. But this is not my first set of Jane Austen books, so I now have two sets of Jane Austen books. Both are incomplete. Um, the other one, I think, has four books as well. And this also has four books, and she's written six books. And I think three of these I already have. Um, but it's okay. I like these. I like these a lot. But I'm definitely going to need to like finish one of the editions. Probably this one, because this one's really cheap. And also I can find the books. Um, but yeah, really like these. They're so soft. And I think I like the Mansfield Park cover the best. I'm going to show you the covers. So this is Sense and Sensibility by Jane Austen. Super cool. I love how all of them have orange on the spines to like connect them. And they're so soft. They're so soft, you guys. Also, I really like that they have like a portrait on the inside like cover um, of the author. Although, I did read some stuff from my course and it said something about like how Jane Austen's sister is the only person to have drawn a picture of her. Um, I think, and her interpretation of her was very skewed and kind of biased and they wanted to kind of portray their sister in a certain way and so we don't really know how Janison looks or often she's portrayed in like a more softer way than she actually was. That was a tangent. Um, the next cover is this. This is Mansfield Park by Jane Austen. I think this is my favorite cover. I don't know, I just like, I just like the swirly chains and how it looks and the simplicity of it and the colors as well. Um, and then this is the next cover. This is Persuasion by Jane Austen um, with the feathers. Very beautiful. And then we have Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen, which I think... No, I, yeah, I have a different edition of Pride and Prejudice. Like, I have the other Penguin edition, the black cover, so... Yeah, I, do, I think I do actually have all of Jane Austen's books, but just in different editions. And I've not read any of them, so that's something I need to do really soon. But yeah, very beautiful, love them, and I can't wait to get the other two books and actually read them. So now it's time for the unboxing part of the video. I'm gonna open the smaller ones first, and these are all from the book depository. Um, yeah, let's get started. I'm pretty sure I know what's in all of these, so not really that much of a surprise. Great. Good job. Okay. This one is... I can't see. Oh my gosh! This is The Kill Order by James Dashner. And this is the prequel to the Maze Runner series. It's shorter than I thought it would be. And... It's like the new edition with like where the covers are slightly different and the... The, um the text, the font is different, and it feels different to my other covers. I got this cover specifically, and not like the black one or like the other one, so that it would match my books, but I feel like this might be like, different. I wonder if it's taller. I, ho I hope it's not taller. I'm gonna check. It's okay, don't freak out guys, it's the same height. 
Um, it does look different though, like the text, and I actually like the new text and like the colour of this I guess, especially this one it looks sort of bronzy, metallic-y, which I like, so yeah, metallic-y, Dylan? No. Um, yeah, I really like it, and I can't wait to read it. I'm gonna read it this month, um, with someone, so I'm super excited for that. And also for the other prequel, The Fever Kill, that's coming out next year, so yay for Maze Runner books, even though I finished reading the Maze Runner a really long time ago. And also, yay for bookmarks. The next book is this. This is Stolen by Lucy Christopher, and I got this, I think, because it was on sale. And bookmark! I haven't gotten this one before. That was excited. It says, it's like a dinosaur, and it says Roar. Roar. Um, yeah. Very excited. I love bookmarks. Um, but yeah, this is stolen. It was on sale on the book depository, and I've always wanted to buy it, um, and I decided to do it now. And yeah, I think this is about someone who was kidnapped. Written as a letter from a victim to her captor, this is Gemma's desperate story of survival. Next package is this. Is there a... yeah. Oh my gosh, here it is. Oh, already creeped out. This book, look at this cover. Look at this cover, it creeps me out so much. Oh my gosh, oh my, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. So creepy. Um, this is Krampus, the Yule Lord by Brom, and you might recognize Brom, the author, because he is my favorite book's author, The Child Thief. Um, and I decided to get this book. This book is about Krampus who's like Santa Claus or Santa Claus is like arch enemy or something to do with Christmas and I'm like I'm gonna read this during Christmas time and it went on sale on the book depository and I decided to buy it and it just oh my gosh it freaks me out so much. I can already tell I'm gonna like the illustration in this because it is already beautiful and I'm pretty sure there's illustrations throughout the book. Yeah, again, at the start of every chapter, just like The Child Thief. Another bookmark! I haven't gotten this one before. It's a sleeping child. And finally, we have the last book, which I am... I don't know if I'm the most excited for this one, but I'm the most excited to see this in person, I guess. And this book... Oh my gosh. Oh. So beautiful already. This is Smart by Kim Slater. It feels different than I thought it would look. It's like, not white, um, it's like beige, and it feels like, different. Like, rougher than I thought it would look, and then these parts, like the lake, and the writing are smooth, and the pictures are smoother, but yeah. This is smart, it's a middle grade book, I believe, and it's about someone who... It's about a boy named Kieran, and he's going to find out what really happened to a homeless man who died and um, I can't remember what else happened, but he kind of like goes on an investigation and I've heard some people say that he has some autistic attributes, but I don't think he's ever like said to be autistic. Um, I saw this book in Nerd and Translation's latest haul, I think, um, or in one of her hauls, and I fell in love with this beautiful, beautiful book. It is so beautiful. I love the way that it looks. And this is the inside cover, which, oh my gosh, just, absolutely beautiful um, and I kind of wanted to read this and it was between this and the night dog the curious incident of the dog in the nighttime something like that um, which is also involving like an autistic kid I think and I kind of wanted to read both of them and I decided to get this one because I like the cover better small is good very important another bookmark and I haven't gotten this one either I think I got like a bookmark for every single thing that I got so that's awesome yeah I got four new bookmarks and this one is the only one that I had before so these are the ten books that I got in this book haul and I will leave links to where you can buy them in the description box below um, yeah very excited about them tell me which ones I should read first or which ones you like best or which ones you've read and what you have to think or say about them and that's it I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time bye